one of the things I'm going to be doing today, since it's raining like crazy, is I figured I'd change uh, one of the mirrors on the bike. So the left got banged up a little while ago. This is the new one. This is the old one. Not really much you can see, but uh, I'm not too proud to say that when I first had the bike, I went from pavement to dirt in a hidden spot that was probably about this deep and drove and just sunk right into it. Bike was fine, but I totally went over the handlebars. And uh, at that time, I had decided that I was gonna try out flipping the mirrors up. So when I did that, I actually caught one of them in a vent and one of the pieces went flying off. So lesson learned to be a little bit more wary on those back main roads. So I'm gonna try to change one of the mirrors to fix it, but I'm also gonna try to extend it with these uh, small extender pieces that I got from uh, an individual on HD forums. So they look really similar to, I think, the ones that come with uh, in the set for Harley, Harley Davidson's stock kit, but I don't know if they're exactly the same. There might be one issue. So there's a notch here on one and then over here on the other. So that might be a little bit of a problem, less so for this one on the right, but this one on the left, it might be a bit more of an issue when it's trying to sit up underneath the bar. So I'm not sure how that's gonna uh, plan out, but we'll, we'll see what happens with it. So I think the way that these are gonna work is that the mirror is gonna come up through here, put the original screw cap on, and then what I did is like, it didn't come with any hardware, so I just got uh, some two and a half inch long bolts in black, you know, just to kind of go with everything. And then I also got uh, some nuts here that are also in black. So that part I think will go through in here, like this, and then we'll put this piece up. I'm, I'm hoping that I get a little bit more visibility of it because right now doing this while I'm riding the bike is not particularly fun. So uh, we'll see what happens. And, and if there's a huge bash of lightning behind me, uh, I apologize. It's been thundering and lightning like you wouldn't believe. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is try to put this bracket on and then I'll put the mirror on after that. So just down in there. that nut on. I got a lock nut so hopefully this stays a little bit better than just a standard one. I'm starting to get a little tight so now I gotta figure out exactly where I want it. Tough part's gonna be matching it to this side afterwards, so I'm not gonna go super tight for now. All right, so it seems like this is in an okay spot. I can still move it a little bit, so I haven't tightened it just quite yet. So I'm gonna just put the mirror on, get it roughly located where I want, and then see if I can actually see out of it. It's not super tight at the moment, but it's just a nice location, at least to give me an idea if this is gonna work or not. Before, it was probably about here, so I've been able to move it over a little bit. It's kind of hard for, probably for you guys to see, but it looks like it's gonna be in a better spot. I just, maybe I should go out further. Yeah, so if I, looks like if I push it out further from the, the bar here, I'll actually get a little bit more a little bit under the grip, but I think it actually would be better. It's probably hard to see from this angle, but I can actually see quite right down like this in an angle and see right into that. So, it's, uh, so I'm going to try to adjust this and this location at the same time and try to figure out if the mirror is going to be in an okay location. The only concern that I have is that the angle from my eyes to here to the mirror, the handlebar is coming through just a little bit, but I don't think that will be an issue. So now I just gotta figure out if I can get this at the same angle on this side with that with that other notch. So I'm gonna see if that will work or not. The, the thing I'm worried about is that 
because this distance is greater than this distance, obviously, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this kind of clearance on this side where the mirror is not going to hit the clutch lever. So that's going to be an issue. So trying to get these matched up in any way is going to be a bit tough, but I think there's also going to be some filing in my future. So I'm going to go file this down and uh, see what happens from there. That was a little piece. That, yep. There's still some give there. That will give us a much better view. So I think we've got the positions now, uh, roughly. I just need to now tighten everything up and uh, hopefully it doesn't move too much. So it pushed it out, looks like I pushed it forward and out this way a little bit. And I guess we're gonna have to take it for a ride to see if it's in a better spot, but with the rain and other stuff I gotta do, I can't really do it right now. So I'll go and do that later, but that's it for now.